In the meantime, the Senate has condemned the increasing attacks of farmers by herdsmen around the country. In a heated debate during plenary, the Senate says the time to act is now. Several senators expressed their displeasure, saying the federal government needs to do more. Right now, we are an endangered species. People are going into homes to abduct, to rape, to do all sorts. Hats men are everywhere. We have spoken several and nothing has been done. Mr. President, hmm. posterity beckons because posterity will not forgive us. We are part of the system. We must do something drastic. We must declare insecurity a national emergency so that everybody starts to work on it as we're working on COVID. The figures that are coming out of insecurity are higher than the figures that are coming out of COVID. The police IG has told us these are criminal elements coming from outside Nigeria. And what we should ask ourselves is, if somebody is a criminal and he is in the forest, what is he doing inside there? And we want to paper over matters of this nature to please whatever. What we want to say is simple. We either want to solve this problem, and in order to solve the problem, the desideratum is that all criminal elements that are coming into this country from wherever they are must be flushed out. Simply sit up. This country is at the precipice of, of, of a civil war or, or if, of even falling apart, or, of a failed state. So, Mr. President, I mean, I, I rise that the president needs to speak and calm, and calm the nation and talk to the nation. I mean, Mr. President, here we are, we just looking at, looking at what has just recently happened in, the, in America now. In, in one month, the president has passed over 30 executive orders. The president can pass an executive order banning open grazing, banning the criminality of carrying her uh, uh, ammunition, I mean, uh, uh, guns and, and, and AK-47 where, where you, where, where you are going. Uh, numerate all these, all these herdsmen. The action that it can take immediately, but nothing is being done. I would like to start by saying that uh, perhaps the title or the caption of this motion should have been, instead of general insecurity in Nigeria, should be the menace of Fulani has men in Nigeria. I say so because not quite too long ago, the Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence, was reported to have said that out of every 10 kidnappers arrested, seven or eight are Fulani. So Mr. President, we must face this fact. Why is that so? It is because the Fulanis are being encouraged or are being allowed free reign in this country to do whatever they like. Mr. President, I want to make a special plea that please the screening of the new service chief should be done at plenary. They should come and speak to Nigerians what their intentions are. What are they going to do? It's not going to be business as usual. We need to hear from them. It's not at the committee level or so. They should come and speak to us here. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.